Morning friends. Welcome, welcome to my kitchen. Again, very early, quarter to seven on a Thursday morning. I've decided this is the best time to video because I already know the rest of my family is still sleeping. So no one comes up and says, mom, mom, mom. Okay, here we go. Base today is, we're back to beauty tone velvet. A little bit on and spread it around a tiny bit. I'm really liking the velvet, guys. I'm not adding any water to it whatsoever for this type of pour. Um, it's smooth. It's creamy. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the Beauty Tone. It's a home hardware brand. And um, Carol Penhill recommended it to me, fellow Canadian artist. So if you haven't been to her site, Please go. She does some beautiful, beautiful work. And you know what? It's really nice to just be able to talk to other artists and other creative people and just figure out like what they're using, what works best for them for your geographical areas. Because, you know, when you're listening to people talk about, I use this and I use that, you have to keep in mind that not everything is available everywhere. And uh, it gets super frustrating. So pick, a, pick an artist that lives, you know, in your geographical area and see what works for them and then try to find products because I did my share of, oh, I want this and I want that and I can't get it and then it just becomes even more frustrating. Okay, so we're going to try to do something very floral today. We're going to try. So here we go. Liquitex Violet. I think it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's permanent violet. I think it's permanent violet is <clears throat> the actual name. This is, this is the PBO reddish blue. I put lots of that in there. And then Fireball Orange. So Fireball is made by FX. A couple different people have asked me. FX is a company that makes these acrylic paints they're not for like painting per se like we do they're actually for painting plastics and vinyls and they're used for cosplay so in my Michaels they're not in the paint section so if you can't find them in Michaels ask somebody because they're tucked away in kind of an obscure place with all the plastic gear for cosplay they're very pretty they come in Standard colors come in satin, I believe, and then the interference colors um, are all shift. They're all like the meet and shift. No, they are meet and shift. They're all like the um, color shift paints. They're really, really pretty. They're a bit of a different consistency, a little bit stickier, and you just kind of have to fiddle with them to get them working the right way, but they will work. They will sew, you guys. Okay, so... I know this is gonna sound weird. I'm putting number in this because we need a little bit of shadow and a little bit of contrast. And besides that, I like it. That's the truth. I like it, you guys. Purple. This is another FX color. This is, uh, I think it's called Orchid. And here we go. If we're gonna keep it try floral, we have to have green. So we're gonna have some green for our leaves. I'm gonna put a fair amount of paint on here. I might go back in and put more paint on because this is a fairly big piece. This is a 13 by 13 ceramic tile. I bought myself a box full. I bought one the other day. Why well, didn't even buy it this? I'm sure you listened to me ramble on my last video. This nice man gave it to me and they was quite happy with them. I have yet to figure out how I'm gonna hang it. This is Dragonfly Glaze, guys. It's gonna go on like this, dry into just a little bit of a sparkle of green, green sparkles. Okay, um, I'm thinking that we need more color. Anyway, um, I came home, I tried my freebie tile and I really liked it. And I have yet to figure out how I'm going to hang it, but I went and got a case because they were on sale. So a case of 12 of these big tiles cost me like $13.36. So 
count. That's pretty reasonable. Oh, yuck. All right, black cell mix. Time to make myself some more of this, I think. I'm going to put lots on because we have lots of paint. All right, my friends. I'm still debating whether I need to add more paint, but I'd like to keep some negative space. So I might just leave it at that. Oh, goodness. My lighter is out of fluid. I'm in bad shape today. You know what? I've changed my mind. Let's put some more. Let's put some more color in here. And then we're going to blow it out. Okay. A little bit extra. Just for fun. Here we go. Okay, goal, guys. My goal is to keep my green on this side so that it's going to have hopefully the look of leaves down below. Okay, let's just give that a second. Too bad we couldn't just stop that right there. But we can't. And I'm going to blow it out again, you guys. I'm going to start using my hair dryer, so it's going to be super noisy, but I'm finding it's hard to get this blown out on these big pieces. Okay, here we go. All right. Definitely now we have a very split color, which is what I was hoping for. So let's just maybe, maybe, there's quite a concentration of color there. So let's try to maybe blow that this way. Okay, let's give that a second and see what happens, my friends. While that's happening, I will try to find my fancy modifying skewer. All right, sorry guys, I'm never quite ready. So let's let's just uh, spin it a bit. As she blows out more paint after saying she's spinning. So let's spin it a tiny bit and spread it out a bit more. Not gonna go crazy, we're gonna let the spinner do the work for us for now. Okay, so we have a fuzzy hair right there. Okay, so I'm not totally stoked with the black in the center and I'm not sure if I should try to blow it out a little bit more. What to do, what to do, or modify right through it. Let's just modify right through it. Let's try to keep that because that's quite pretty with all those sort of broken up pieces. These are our petals, so it kind of would be nice to have some petals divided. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna spin it out and see what happens here. All right, guys, let's go again. Let's just tilt this though and get it back to center a little bit. And I might 
just make another couple lines through this. I don't know what to do. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, let's give it a spin. A little more aggressively this time. you guys. All right, one more the other way. There we go. How pretty is that? It's, I have a little bit of a harder time judging how much paint I have on these for weight and for drawing because this is only my second big one I've done. Um, so my last one dried really well, although I panicked in the middle of it thinking, oh God, it's cracking. But then I realized that these tiles actually have texture to them. But I think, I think I have a little bit much paint, a little bit much, a little too much paint. And as much as I don't want to spin it again, you guys, I'm going to give it another spin. I'm going to spin it this way, I think. Looking a little bit better, I think. A little bit of paint on our corners. And that's it, my friends. I'm going to leave that like this. I'm not modifying. I am trying to do some bigger pieces for um, this lady that's going to put them in her um, massage therapy shop. So I will check my corners, which I missed a tiny bit here and there. But those are fine details that can all be done now. So I'm going to bring you down and have a look. We're going to leave it at that. I'm going to end off here like always and say thank you very much to everybody. Oh, I just realized I don't have my proper lighting on you guys. Oh, well, okay. So I apologize now for the glare and the spots for my overhead light. Look at that. Very, very floral. Leaves on one end and floral color on the other. I'm having a hard time holding my phone. I'm going to turn it so find your orientation how you're going to hang it if you want to modify any farther than this you go for it it's your piece you guys claim it own it make it your own you guys got this look at all these little details little sparkles it's very pretty it's very floral and that is what i was aiming for so i'm going to wrap it up here apologize again for the glare because i did forget to turn the proper lighting on and I'm going to tell you guys to have a lovely weekend. Poor happy, stay safe, and we'll talk really soon, my friends. Thank you very much for your support, for joining me, for shouting out, for saying hey. You guys are awesome. It's only paint. You got this. Bye for now.